Hey guys, it's Gamer TV here, and I'm bringing you the first episode on PvP Wars. And I wanted to change it up a little bit because I kind of got tired of just doing factions for y'all. Just same thing, just like starting the base and then getting raided, then starting over. So I'm going to be doing some Skyblock until like a good server and faction gets out. So I'm going to be uploading daily on here and probably some Fortnite. You can see like I've been uploading some Fortnite lately. So, I'm going to be playing that, but if I can't do a Fortnite video, I'm going to be doing a video on here. But, I'm going to be touring a island that I've joined. i actually been playing with them since I started the faction series of PvP Cloud. So, I've been doing a lot of work on here and, and stuff like that. And I can show you what we got done. So, let's go ahead and start off like what the island is. We're island level 1,979. And we got 9 out of 10 players on the island, so we almost have max players. And on here, you have to have a rank to fly. So two of our island members have fly, and they were able to make that cactus farm. And fly up and just make it, because printer is allowed on here. And you can see how much cactus this thing actually brings in. So this is about an hour of AFK in it, if we have two alts there. So that's pretty much the cactus farm, and we want to extend it and stuff. And the sugarcane farm, I pretty much made it. So, and I made it with the scam, and I told him to just mine it for me, and I'll just print it in. Because if I go to shop, and I show you how much uh, it sells for, you can see sugarcane sells for nine each. But if so, let me go over here, get all the sugarcane that's right here, go to shop, and just go ahead and sell it right there. I just made sixteen k, just like that. And p cactus sells for four, so it's all right. No, I can't. I'm trying to make an automatic pumpkin farm, but they have it so clocks don't work. So there's a, no way for me to really make a farm without using a clock. So yeah, that's pretty much that. Because if if we're allowed to use clocks, I would make a carrot farm, an automatic pumpkin farm, a uh, freaking what else? Where's the potatoes? I thought potatoes were really good, or, but I guess not. But that's pretty much it. Carrots and pumpkins. and Oh, yeah, and also melons because m multiple melons drop from one uh, melon. So that's pretty much it. And we have a beacon and everything. And I pretty much uh, skimmed in the whole floor, all the cobblestone. And you can see over here, this is where all of our ores are at. And our auto furnace auto like furnaces over there and then our auto mining right here like you just sit here with haste because we have a haste beacon oh we changed it to a strength beacon actually now and all the loot gets collected down here you can see we got a bunch of coal and stuff and it's pretty cool because you get m different types of ores in it right now it's all cobblestone sometimes you could get emeralds diamonds gold and other stuff and if I look down here, you can see the floor down there. I actually set up that too, and right there, I'll get to you that in a minute. But if I, what else can I show you? Like this is where all of our storage is at. All of our blocks are right there. Food, random, uh, just random stuff, and then all right here is all gear. And there's a like there's an envoy that always happens so often. So an envoy is gonna happen in 12 minutes. And all the envoys with the gear it gives you, it gives you with, uh, with enchants. And the enchants, you can see, like, I have 10,000 XP. And you can see how much a basic book costs, 1,500, a rare 5,000, legendary 10,000, and a divine 50,000, and then the immortal 250,000. That's going to be a lot. I'm going to go ahead and open up a legendary book and let's see what we could get. Drunken 3, um... That's actually not good. I am not going to be making a god set on here. Because if I do slash uh, enchants. You can see. Three pages of books. I am not going to deal with that. And I don't even have a grinding sword for it. So if I go down here and I can show you. Or IS warp ultimate. You can see this is our island. And this is where our IGs are at. We got one, two, three, four, five IGs so far. And in here, we have a lot of blaze spawners. If I do IS top, 
it shows you what place we're we're in tenth place, guys. Tenth. We're legit we're right here. So we're worth two hundred and ninety six million dollars. And we have close to two hundred blazes because Nether is enabled and ultimate right here. That's you actually grinding. He has slash fly. So we flew like fifty K blocks in the nether where uh a lot of fortress were and got a lot of blaze spawners because yesterday we actually only had thirteen. So he stayed on for an hour and grinded up two hundred and is and some other people that are on our island that have ranks. And you can see we have five IGs and stuff. This is all and then the IS top is one point five billion dollars. That's Stana. And they have 414 blazes, 145 normal pigmen, and a and 88 iron golems. And you can see like what what does that mean by coal, gold, diamond, or emeralds? Like if you have it normal, it just drops iron. If you upgrade it to like coal, it drops coal. But they have 16 emerald uh, golems. So each one, all the golems drop emeralds. That are those 16 iron golems. And each time you upgrade it to emerald it costs like 23 million dollars so it's actually a lot of money to upgrade these so this is why they they only have 16 some islands on here have a lot same thing pigments are super op on here because if you get it to gold blocks they just drop all gold blocks and gold blocks could they actually sell for a good amount if i uh if i could I am not a donator, so I can't see that. So it's actually a good amount. And this is another island member that helped uh, get blaze spawners. And you can see over here, this is where we rent uh, over 250 blazes. And 10 minutes is 50k, 20 minutes is 90k, 40 minutes is 175k. So if y'all hop on, you you could go ahead and uh, message Ultimate, and he could hook you up if you pay him just 50k for just 10 minutes and you'd probably in 10 minutes you'd probably get around half a million xp from this grinder so <laughs> he wants me to look at hash top but that's pretty much it for the for all of this but i wish i had fly slash is top slash is go actually cool so there we go. If I go where the grinder's at in the inside, I want to be able to close it. You can see, like, there's 10 blazes right there. This is a 9-chunk farm, so we have a lot of spawners in here. 20 blazes in there. And we have the blazes just, just everywhere on here. So we had someone that had chunk borders, and they just came and set it up. So now we have 1-chunk, 2-chunk, 3-chunk, 4-chunk, 5-chunk. Six chunks, seven chunks, eight chunk, and nine chunks. So this is actually the most efficient way to have a grinder, and it's actually bringing in a lot of like XP. And this stuff could actually sell for a lot. So like if I go to down here where he's not picking it up and just go around, boom! Look at my inventory full of blaze rods. He's actually using a really good grinding sword so if i go here and sell the blaze rods boom i just made 2.5k just picking up his scraps so and the gold you could just condense it i don't have a rank so i can't do it so you can see i just came back and just picked up way more so i could just go here just sell the bones and everything and i just probably made what about a thousand dollars right there not even doing anything and just sell the iron because of that and I could actually show you the collection area for the iron. So I don't have fly, so I need to find where the drops at, so I could land on it. So I think it's right here. Yep. All right. So if I go over here, you can see we have. This is where all of our iron comes from. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take it out and show you what I actually do with it. Instead of us just selling it from shop. We grab it all up and we go to one of the IS warp. This person always has a profit shop, so they sell it for $15 per iron. That's about double because iron sells for 10. So I could just go here and there's no chest in there, no room in there, no room in there. A lot of people come here to sell. There we go. I actually found a chest. Dude, I just made 20k, just not even a full inventory. Oh, look, see, looks like he sold. And 
in iron blocks now, so that's that's a good amount. So this guy's actually going places. Z winner, is top. He's actually like number four or something. Okay, he's number five with seven hundred and thirty-five million dollars, fifty-five IGs or fifty-two, and so yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, I, I need to show you something. Uh, if I could show y'all, it won't really matter. Like how much it costs you upgraded actually. So. How do I? You must be able to break this spawner to upgrade it. Ah, oh, shoot. So I can't, I can't even look at it or like grab it. So I can't really show y'all what to do with it, but I'm just going to go ahead and get boom. Yeah. That blends in perfectly. So yeah. And on here they have slash rewards i think my slash rewards is actually ready so there we go you get a daily new storm key and i'm also going to go ahead and vote on these three links and let's go ahead and click the second one click the third one i don't know what he's trying to do i think he's trying to get my attention but i'm not even paying attention so there we go oh he gave me a helmet so there we go. I got a sunset helmet now. Okay, the new storm key came in. So you should be able to get four keys every 24 hours. So what I do is every time I do my slash rewards and I'm able to do it, that's whenever I vote. So I don't have like, I do my slash rewards and then I can't even vote for another three hours. I like to do them both at the same time. So I don't, so I have a lot of keys to open. There we go. And you also get XP bottles and money and diamonds. So that's pretty good i um, gonna just throw that down right there keep the helmet right there but I, if I go to warp crates I can show you uh, where the crates are and this is where I'm gonna do the crates and let's go ahead and open it you just pick one so I'm gonna do with number nine I want to see I don't want to see what it is I just wanted to surprise me and I okay eight hoppers we actually need hoppers and on here you could actually get uh IGs. That's just how, this is how we pretty much got all of our IGs. So if I get lucky I might win an IG. Kit Topaz. It's actually pretty bad. Go ahead and empty that out out of my inventory. Let's go slot number seven. I just randomly click one, so let's go ahead and see. Uh, another kit. Kit Topaz. Great. There we go. There we go. And last one, let's do the first slot. And let's go. And another thing I'm needing to talk to y'all about is the mob coins. What is this? 5K? All right, that's not bad. 350 or $63,000. So let me slash bell some of the players that we have. Oh, he's actually gone online, offline. So this guy's also in my line island so let's go ahead and bow him 95k that's not bad but if you come on the server they have this system so if you play for like seven hours you get a new storm key but you can see i've played for eight hours and 25 minutes so i already got that like a long time ago but if you reach 12 hours you get like three sunset keys and three like new storm keys so it's actually pretty nice to like play on this server and the thing about this is like you can't just stand here and go AFK because it, it'll know that you're not moving and then it'll stop your time. So it should like happen any second. And what the heck is that? And another thing is like when you kill mobs, you could get mob coins. And right now I have eight mob coins and people actually buy these mob coins for a lot. I saw some people buying them for like 9k each. So I can make close to like 100k just from this. And you could actually get some insane stuff from this, like a new storm key, some some books, uh, black scroll, cloud key, new storm key, fly command. That's actually the main thing that I want. You could get some ranks, but I wouldn't get the ranks because they actually just give you iron gear, but slash envoy. So envoy is about to happen. So let's go ahead and uh, get this off, put that on. Put that all in there and spawn. All right. 
the envoy is about to happen and I'm gonna show y'all what I could win. I hope I don't die, but I'll try to survive and and see what we could do. But we got some people here, some reg iron, but I got this nice sword, para penetrate uh, four and freeze one so I can freeze the opponent and just pretty much quickie them because these are just all iron, so I don't really have to worry about it too much. Let's pro that way. I want to pro this way because I could have a lot of room to see these chests. And the envoy is about to happen. One second. Okay. There's a chest. The heck? There we go. Killed that guy. Here's two more. Okay, what did I win there? So, now I'm going to look for these people to see if they are anywhere here. And let's go ahead. Because they might have some good loot. The render distance on here is not that far. So, if they're like right here, I won't be able to see them. So, uh, anyone? Let's pull that way. These envoys go by quick. So, looks like everyone got out. What the heck? Jeez, I didn't even get to open a lot, so. Anyone here? Oh. Ooh, easy. There we go. A lot of stuff. He had a lot of stuff. So, this is actually pretty good. And... I don't know who I got. Uh, Ness. So, GG Ness, if you're gonna watch this. And thanks for the loot. And there we go. I uh, go, and it's an instant TP out, and that's pretty much it. I just got some pretty decent stuff. P4. Uh, P4. P4 helm, chest plate. Uh, leggings? Any leggings? No. Doesn't look like it, so. That's alright, but that's pretty much the end of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like down below. And if you, if we could get like 5 likes, I'll keep on uploading this. And keep on uploading Fortnite. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Peace.